I'm Ed Lester. I'm the product design engineer here at Sparked Innovations. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Now, in this video, I have a lineup of our 2020 products, and I want to give you a brief overview of what each of these products is. And later on, we'll have, with further detail, a dedicated video for each of these products, and I'll end up putting links for those videos down below. And I want you to consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up if you do like this video. If you do want to know more details about us and about any of the products you see here, you can go over to our website at sparkedinnovations.com. You can also ask questions and follow our build pictures and different projects on our social media, Instagram, Facebook, over at Sparked Innovations. And if you do have a question related to something in this video, don't hesitate to comment below. We'll give some uh, feedback when we can. Now, our products here are for the 12 volt industry, which means they can be used for uh, custom automotive, for trucking, for camping, for marine, for side-by-side -side and off-road and things of that nature. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with explanations starting over here. Here I have the FBX 12. It stands for Fuse Box 12. It's a small wire fused distribution box. It has 12 fuses and four grounds. On the input side, we have two large current wire inputs, one for the ground, one for the positive. On the ground side, it accepts four to eight gauge wire and distributes it to a four spot barrier strip, allows you to distribute your ground connection. On the positive side, also accepts four to eight gauge wire and distributes it amongst eight fuses. There's a higher current and a lower current. On the higher current side, you can add any size fuse you need for your particular circuit up to 25 amps. The product comes included with a 25 amp fuse. On the lower current spot, also feeds output uh, on a four spot barrier strip. The fuses can be added any size you need for your particular circuit up to 20 amps. Our unit comes included with 15 amp fuses. On the input side, there's also a four spot barrier strip. These are basically inline fuses that go directly through independent fuses to their own dedicated outputs on a four spot barrier strip. And these, you can add any fuse size you need for that particular circuit up to 15 amps each, which it comes included with. This unit also comes with a fuse puller and a fuse puller holder, which is under the name plate clamp. The name plate clamp is called that because it has a name plate and it clamps down the input wires. There's a space underneath the plate that allows you to feed the power wires and input wires under there to clamp them for safety and for aesthetics. Reason you might need one of these is you're building a custom hot rod, an RV, side-by-side, -side, or a large stereo system, and you need a distribution block with fuses to all your small accessories. Or you may be adding electrical accessories later on that you're unsure of, and to avoid tapping into wire that's already been run, this will give you a nice spot for upgrades in the future. Here we have our RBX Light 4. This is a four channel relay box. It's a relay box, which is the light version of our 4CH. So it has four switchable outputs. On the input side, we have two large gauge power inputs. We have one for ground, which will power the unit, except four to eight gauge. We have a power which will accept four to eight gauge and feeds the relays. To control those relays, we have two options. We have the switch inputs, the direct plug-in ports that accept our switches and switch cables. The switches will illuminate and operate the relay box with no additional wiring. However, the unit's universal and will accept any 12 volt positive trigger via the four spot barrier strip. 
This is where you can activate any of the channels via ignition or illumination from your vehicle or your own switch that has a positive output or even a remote turn on from a head unit. On the output side, each of the switched channels is fused at 15 amps and we have a four spot barrier strip that allow you to use a fork terminal or any 12 to 26 gauge wire to go to your accessory. It's a simple 12 volt positive switched output out of each of these outputs. The unit features just like the fuse box, a wire nameplate clamp that allow you to run your power wire and trigger switched wires underneath to secure them and make them look neat. This has blue LEDs that switch on with each channel to indicate that the channel is indeed activated. Now here we have the RBX 4CH. It's a relay box with four channels. It takes some of the features from the FBX 12 and the RBX Lite 4 and adds them together. And it's a relay box with four channels, but there's five fuses. Well, I'll get to the fifth fuse in a minute. Let's take a look at the input side. Just like the other products, we have a high current wire input for ground that accepts four to eight gauge. And we have one for positive that accepts four to eight gauge. Now the ground side not only powers the unit, it also has a pass through that goes to two spots on the barrier strip to allow for ground distribution. So when adding accessories, if you need a ground point, you have it right here. On the positive side, it feeds the relays, but also has a pass through, which is fused at 15 amps and goes to two spots on the barrier strip to allow for constant fusion protected distribution to your accessories that need constant power. Now there's a smaller power wire input, which accepts 12 to 18 gauge wire, and that goes to an ignition or an illumination. And this is defeatable via a slide switch on the actual unit. What this does is allows the entire unit to be powered on or off via an illumination or any other positive trigger like an ignition wire. So if you want to have external switches and forget to turn them off, you can use this as a safety to turn off the unit in the event the vehicle ignition is powered down. There's also four triggered inputs. You can activate each of the channels via the direct plug-in switch cables from our switches, or you can use the universal positive trigger inputs, which will come from, say, a remote turn-on of a head unit, an ignition, an illumination, or a universal switch that has a positive output. If you do not want to use external switches, this unit comes with onboard switches to activate each channel. This is useful for troubleshooting of your accessories, or if you just want to activate the channels from the unit itself. Each of these channels can be linked together if you want to increase the output capability of the unit and still have them activated from just one trigger. In case you did not want to use ignition to power on and off the entire unit, which like I said is defeatable via an onboard switch, but you still want a master safety, there's a master switch input so you can add a fifth switch via direct plug-in cable that will act as a master switch to power down all four channels at once. If you need to use multiple units in conjunction, there's a slave output which will loop from this unit to another, to another, and you can infinitely link these units together and have all channels master powered via one switch. Illumination on the switches by default is activated when each switch is pressed. However, this is also defeatable if you're using an illumination or ignition input via an onboard slide switch on the side, which will allow illumination on our switches to activate from that ignition or illumination, whether the switch is pressed or not. 
On the output side, as previously stated, we have a 15 amp fuse for the positive constant power pass through. Each channel is also fused at 15 amps and the output is on each terminal of the barrier strip, which can accept 12 to 26 gauge wire or fork terminal. Each channel is also indicated to be on with an LED. The color of these LEDs is selectable via a three pin dip switch on the side for red, green, or blue, or any combination of the three. As is with our other units, the RBX4CH also has a name plate clamp, which is seen here clamping down all of the input wires to keep them safe and secure and make it look really nice. One of the main uses of the RBX4CH will be high-end audio systems with multiple amplifiers, air horns, LED lights, cooling fans, or any other 12 volt accessory that needs switched outputs to be safe and fused. And for any other additional features needed like the ground post distribution, the positive post distribution, the illumination, and the chain ability from ignition or master switch to a slave output to another unit to add even more channels. Seen here's our DIN switch panel. The size being DIN means that it's similar in size to any standard head unit or pocket available in most vehicles dash kits. Though the DIN switch panel is customizable, the standard one comes with a black gloss acrylic plate over a flat black plastic housing. They include spots for four of our push button switches and one of our voltmeters. Our switches come available in two finishes, black and aluminum. And illumination is available in five colors, red, green, blue, white, and purple. Voltmeters are available in single, dual, and USB with red, green, blue, white, and purple illumination as well. These particular switches are connected to our direct plug-in cables, which run 18 feet of length to one of our relay box models and will plug directly in with illumination controlled and powered by the actual relay box. However, the standard switches will come with a pigtail we also offer the wiring diagram to show you which each of these wire does, and that allows it to be universally wired to almost any 12 volt application. The voltmeters are a two wire variety, which means you can solder or use a quick disconnect. However, to power the unit and control it on and off, you will need to use a switch or a relay. Though this is the standard size switch panel, we do offer them in several different sizes as well as custom ability both in size, shape, and layout. Message us for more info. Now this is Fanny, it's a cooling fan. It's not merely a prop used as a load for a relay box, it's its own dedicated product and it's actually the first cooling fan designed for car audio use. And although you can use it for any other use, its output profile, the air exhaust, is shaped and sized with amplifier heat sinks in mind. It will mimic the size and shape of most amplifiers. It can be mounted on its bottom like this or on the back like this. So depending on your trunk, hatch, whatever setup you have in your large custom car audio or marine audio system, this should allow you the flexibility to match. And yes, I did say marine. Most of the materials used in construction are of marine grade quality. Fanny itself features two motors with the input on the top. So in most applications, it'll pull in cool air that does not sit around the amplifier or suffocate from the install in the back corner. And the exhaust will come out the side 
which will allow it to mount directly next to an amplifier to cool the heatsink. For power input, Fanny features a two wire 12 volt barrel connector, which we include as a pigtail with the unit. It draws under three amps of current And Fanny features illumination, which will dim if using a speed controller. There is some customizable options with Fanny, being the color of the gloss acrylic on the top and sides of the housing, and the color of the LEDs used in the illumination. All right, I hope that information proved useful to you. I want to add something. The fuse box and the relay box models look similar for symmetry. Some of the larger custom electrical systems out there may need to use multiples of each model or separate models used in conjunction. So if they follow the same form factor, same size, same, same shape, they not only work together, but they look like they belong together. And the selectability of the RGB LEDs in the uh, four channel relay box here further adds to that by allowing you to custom tailor that lighting color to whatever custom illumination you may have in your vehicle. And if you do have any further questions, feel free, drop a comment below. You can also check out our website, sparkedinnovations.com, or any of our social media platforms at Sparked Innovations. And if you thought any of these products are neato, give us a thumbs up. But chances are you have a friend that also thinks they're neato, so I would ask you to consider sharing this video either directly to them or on your social media because you never know who's watching that is in need of something that we offer. And I thank you guys once again, Ed at Sparked Innovations, the other guys here, we all thank you for joining us, helping us grow and supporting us even by just watching that. If you have any project cars in the works, whatever your hobby is, I hope you're enjoying it and moving forward on it. And once again, guys, have a nice day.